to Miami? Uh, Should we order? Should we order Miami? Okay. Two words, Ernie Kosar. Yeah, he was certainly more ready. Once again, anybody with a 1030 ticket, come join us in the Detroit Mobile. We're located at Miami Airport. Can I even see you? Mark, I'm going to try to get you a call. It's good. 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 Circle behind the yellow tape lines. If you have a smaller type child unit, let them come in front so they can see. If you're a little taller, you can stand in back. We're gonna let you guys swing around. You can swing around all the way up to Garrick and Brian there, okay? We're giving you VIP treatment, okay? Hey, Brian. You see this guy over here with white beard? Doesn't he look like Santa? Wow. Come on, I I think you knew him. Yeah. All right, say hi to Tony. All right. What Tony's going to do is, he's going to do an impression of uh, uh, Fritz Bickle. Fritz is the guy in the picture. That uh, picture's taken about the 1930s. And this is the way we used to make bands. They do the old days. One at a time. So to hand turn a band, you put the bill of wood on the lathe, and you go to the bat vault to get a player's model you're going to copy. The one that uh, Tony's doing is a Babe Ruth model, so I know it's an R43. The R stood for Ruth. It was an R17 to be Jackie Robinson, R46 to be Pee Wee Reese, R161 to Frank Robinson. So we had numbers of letters to identify the bats. So he's got some pretty sharp tools to cut out the bats. Some are called gouges and some are called chisels. But he's got to have a steady hand, a keen eye, and a lot of patience because it's going to take about 30 minutes to make one bat. Today, we can do this on a computer in 30 seconds. Thought there'd be at least one wow. Okay. All right. This began in our company in 1884. Now, here's what happened. Mount Hillrick skips work to see Pete Browning play for the... took 30 seconds to make. We had two blades to cut out the bat, and I don't know if you noticed, the tube above the machine sucked up the sawdust. And when the bat comes out of the lane, there, you guys can come a little bit closer because we're going to watch this video. It's going to look like this. Now, does anybody notice anything unusual about this here bat? Yeah. That's called a peg or a nut. That holds the way we say the tip. That's why it's on there. Bat number one is ash, bat number two is maple. Now, right, we're gonna look for this little window right here. Kids, kids, you know what we call this window? This is the window of opportunity. Someday you'll crawl through it, get a real job, and make lots of money and support your parents. You too. You will never leave home. All right, now this is the way we would engrave a bat in the good old days. Underneath that cotton pillow was a little metal template. It's heated to 1,300 degrees. And all the bats in the good old days were ash, 
So we would burn the slugger trademark into the ash mat. And then we'd sand it down and cut off the nubs and put the clear coat lacquer finish. But we're looking for the V in the grain line of the ash mat. The V in the wood is the weakest part of the wood. So that would tell a player like Al K-Line or Stan Musial or Evan Longoria, always hold your trademark up. You want to hit it for all the stretch, and you still hold seven baseballs in one hand. He looks at me and he goes, my hand's the same size. I said, what are you doing to a big truck? All right, Yogi Berra said, if you come to a fork with a rotate, we'll let some of you guys take the fork over here, lace it, come out over there. That's about there. Perfect, stop. Then you guys can fill in the gaps. Now, we're gonna watch Jeff dip a bat. You wanna say hi, Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Hi. We use water-based lacquer. We buy it five-gallon pails and from about three different distributors. Once it's dipped in the lacquer, we secure it to our Henry Ford assembly line, and the bats will travel to the north side of the factory on that line. It takes about 90 minutes to get to the end of the line. We drive the bats with heat lamps and box fans, and every bat we dip, we dab with a bat dabber like this. Once, twice, three times a lane. All done. Now, if it's a colored bat, we don't burn it. We're gonna foil and grate it, 